Welcome dear viewers, thank you for taking the time to tune into this special tutorial. For our returning friends, you are probably quite familiar with BT 2.0. As we know, Apple server restrictions have previously limited our ability to modify locations over long distances using BT 2.0. Today, I will be guiding you through some handy networking tools that will help us break through these barriers, allowing us to effortlessly modify the location on our iPhones to anywhere in the world. Please make sure you don't miss any part of it, as we will delve into the principles behind them and walk through the steps on how to use them effectively. Now, let's get started. Before we start, let's understand why GPS positioning cannot deviate too far. When your phone uses GPS to find your location, it sends a stream of data to Apple's servers. However, the system has a built-in limit that prevents your location from drifting too far from where it actually is. Essentially, if you stretch it too far, Apple's servers start sifting through mountains of data, automatically fine-tuning your position and realigning it back to something more realistic. To get around this limitation, we'll stop phones from sending information back to Apple's servers by blocking Apple's domain names. However, without the feedback of these data, the numerical control of the positioning information of the iPhone is taken over by our BT 2.0. You can control the positioning of your iPhone to where you want to go. The only disadvantage of these solutions is that your iPhone or home network will not be able to access Apple's related websites, except for using adapters, but it doesn't matter, because these tools can operate switches at any time, allowing you to choose whether to block or access Apple's websites normally. Here I will introduce four methods for you. Option 1, utilizing router to block domain names. Option 2, using a connector to connect directly. Option 3, using computer's VPN program as network proxy to block domain names. Option 4, using a mobile VPN application. Here is the tutorial on how to use. Option 1, for those who are well versed in networking and router configurations, this method might be right up your alley. First, You'll need to access the settings interface of your router and look for an option called domain blocking or something along those lines. Once you're there, add apple.com and its related domain names to the block list. Now, here's a little heads up. This method will temporarily halt your access to all Apple related services. So be prepared to flip this switch on and off as needed. Unless, of course, you can pinpoint the specific domain names responsible for data transmission. Keep a keen eye on your network logs and identify the domain names that affect GPS. Some users have mentioned that blocking gs-lock.apple.com and iphone-services.apple.com suffices, but through our experimentation, we found that gs-lock.apple.com may vary depending on your country, for instance, in China, it's gs-lock-cn.apple.com, so that needs to be blocked as well. We won't delve into the nitty-gritty here. But for all you router whizzes out there, feel free to do some sleuthing on your own. Option 2, buy an adapter. I believe many users are not unfamiliar with this. Just plug the phone into the network cable, and you can perfectly realize the positioning and modification you want anywhere. The most convenient and easiest way for everyone. Option 3, first off, head over to your computer and download a VPN software that allows for configuration files, such as Clash for Windows. After installing, you'll want to import a configuration file into the software, which should contain rules for blocking Apple domain names. Next, connect your iPhone to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer. Go into the Wi-Fi settings on your iPhone and set up a proxy, making sure to input your computer's IP address. Now, this setup enables your iPhone to send its traffic through the VPN settings on your computer, which bypasses communication with Apple's servers. A neat feature of this method is that it can accommodate multiple iPhones on the same network, you just need the software running on your computer. But remember, if your computer is switched off, you'll have to turn off the proxy in your iPhone's Wi-Fi settings to revert back to the regular network connection. Let's dive into how to download Clash for Windows on your computer. I'll be demonstrating on Windows machine, the download process is the same on Mac OS. Open your browser and search for Clash for Windows. Navigate to the GitHub page that comes up in the search results. Once you're there, look for the green button to download the latest version. If you are on Windows PC, go for the .exe file. For those using Mac OS, go for the, the .dmg file. 
just wait for the download to complete. Now, if you're a Mac OS, there's an alternative you can consider, Clash X. It has the same functionalities. Just search for Clash X in your browser and follow the same download procedure. After the download is finished, click to install it. Soon, you'll see the Clash for Windows application on your screen. And there you go. It's a pretty straightforward process, and now you're all set with Clash for Windows. Now let's delve into how to use this software. Open the application and switch on the system proxy. This action signifies that you've activated the VPN proxy. Next, switch on the allow LAN. This action allows connections from your local network. Click on Profiles. Here you'll find the Rules page. If you're familiar with Clash, you can create your own rule file. But for those who find it tricky, I've prepared a simple rule list for you. All it does is block all related Apple domains. So, import this rule list into the interface, then click on the rule. If it displays a green mark, it means the rule is active. Click on Profiles again. In the rule introduction, you'll see Direct, Reject, and Invalid Proxy. Click on Reject. The proxy rule is to deny access to the domains listed in the rules. Invalid Proxy is just a placeholder and Direct means to connect directly to the domains in the rule. Beginners don't need to worry about these. Just click on Reject, and you'll see a green mark. To test, open your browser and try to access Apple's official website. If you can't connect, it means the setup is successful. When you turn off the system proxy on the application's homepage, your network will return to normal and you will be able to connect to Apple's website as usual. Now let's talk about the preparations before setting up the phone. You first need to find your computer's IP address, then remember the port that Clash for Windows gave you. Click here and you will be quickly prompted with the IP address of your computer's current network. Of course, you can also find the IP in the computer's network settings. It's easy to find here. Then record port 7890. Then we go to the phone to start the setup. Under the same local network, the phone's network will be forwarded via the computer. First, open the settings on your iPhone and enter the Wi-Fi settings. Follow my operation here. Enter the IP of the computer you just found, along with the port number. Test if the phone has successfully blocked the Apple official website too. You should be able to access the internet normally, but not the Apple website. Now, the phone's network follows the computer's network settings, indicating that all settings are successful. With these settings, you can use our BT to modify your location to anywhere without distance restrictions. If you turn off the iPhone's manual proxy, your iPhone's network will return to normal. No more port forwarding networking through your computer. If your iPhone has set the IP address and port, but cannot access the internet, it is very likely that the firewall of your computer has not opened this port to the outside world, and you need to release the port at this time. You just need to follow me, Win plus R. Enter WF.MSC. Click Inbound Rules. Click New Rule. and click port. Click next and enter port 7890. Next. 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 Name it anything you want and click finish. This will free your port and your iPhone should be able to surf the internet normally.
Option 4, download a VPN app on your phone that supports custom configuration files. We recommend Shadow Rocket, which will cost you around $2.99. Once you have it installed, you're going to want to import a configuration file into the app. This file should have rules for blocking Apple domain names. Activate the VPN and you're good to go. What's great about this method is the simplicity and flexibility. When you need to change locations, just open the app, and when you're done, close it. It's that simple. Your phone will work just as it normally does, and you don't need any additional hardware or complex settings. Plus, with this method, you're not limited to just using Wi-Fi. You can also run it on a 4G or 5G network, which can be super convenient, especially on the move. Before starting to introduce the method of use, first enter my page introduction and download the interception rule of tools iPhone I prepared for you to the file of the iPhone. Then we move on. First of all, let's download this software, search for Shadow Rocket in the App Store and download it. After the download is complete, open the software and follow my steps to set it up. Very simple. All settings are complete. When you need to block Apple domain names, you only need to turn on this button. When you want to get back to normal, close this button. iPhone network back to normal. Now you just need to connect BT 2.0 to modify your location to wherever you want. Everyone chooses the way that suits them according to their abilities and needs. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please feel free to leave a comment or contact us if you have any questions or need further assistance. It's not easy to make a video, remember to like it and recommend it to friends in need.